crazy snowing outside today so I thought what better time to make a new video for my channel so I love watching these kind of videos and I thought it would be really interesting um, to make one so you guys could get to know a little bit more about me and um, yeah so today I decided to make a 50 random things about me video so if you guys want to know all the crazy and weird things about me then just keep watching Okay, so number one, I'm really tall. I don't know why this surprises some people when they meet me in person because if you look at all of my pictures, especially ones with other people, you can always tell that I'm the tallest one and not by an inch or two, usually by like five. So I don't know why this um, surprises people when they meet me in person, but yes, I am five foot 10. I am a Glamazon baby. I am tall. Number two, I won the tallest girl award in fourth grade. Yes, I did, I won. Um, number three, I've never dated anyone over six foot tall. Isn't that crazy? Like, you would think that me being so tall, I would find a good looking guy that's at least six foot five. I mean, all I want is to be able to go out to dinner, I wanna wear my heels, and I want you to still be taller than me. Is that too much to ask for? Yes, it's too much to ask for, because you know why? Tall guys don't like tall girls. They like the shorties. And I'm not hating on the shorties, but come on, you're taking on all of our men. I think this world would be a better place if tall people and tall people made it and short people and short people made it because this whole tall short thing is not working out for me. There's no good looking six foot five guys left for me. Seriously, the only guys I dated always happen to be one foot taller, one inch taller than me. And I mean, I'll take it, but I would love a six foot five guy. So shorty, stop stealing our men. It's, it's not fair. And the craziest thing is that short guys, they love tall girls. Like, you would never believe when I go out, the guys that come up to me and they're like mad short and they're like, what's up, ma? And I'm like, you're kidding, right? But they're not, they're really serious. So this has got to stop. This is an epidemic. This is an epidemic and it has got to stop. So number four, I am one out of six children. Um, people refer to me, to my family as the Dominican Brady Bunch because there's three girls and three boys and I'm the middle child, I guess. So I have an older brother, an older sister, then me, then a little sister, little brother, and another little brother. Number five, I'm Dominican American. Both of my parents are Dominican, born and raised there and everything. I was conceived in DR and I was born here. Number six, I was in band. I was a band geek. I used to play the clarinet and then I switched over to the flute because I thought it was so much cooler. Um, in high school, I played basketball. Well, I played in middle school and I also played volleyball in middle school. But I played basketball on the junior varsity team in high school and I actually won the best defensive player and, um, at the end of the season. And I also went to basketball camp and I made the all-star team. And I mean, not to brag or anything, but I honestly feel like I could have gone to college on a basketball scholarship but I stopped playing when I switched over to a new school because uh, I didn't want to play for that team so but I don't know I always wonder how different my life would have been if I would have kept playing basketball but everything happens for a reason and I mean I was like the girliest girl on the basketball team when we had game days I would be the only one in heels and a pencil skirt with makeup and the other girls would be like in um, khakis and polo and sneakers so I don't know. I, I guess it was always in me to be fabulous. Um, I hate the sound of ice. Like when people chew ice, it just like, it makes my teeth feel weird. I don't know how to describe it. I just hate it. Even like when you walk on the snow and that crunch, like it makes my teeth feel weird. I don't know. I just hate the sound of ice. Number 10, I am very animated. Like, I don't know, I talk with my hands, I talk with my face, obviously I talk with my face, but like I'm always making faces. If you pause my videos, I'm probably making a crazy face. And I apologize, but I just can't help it. I'm super animated and it's crazy because my boyfriend calls me rubber face because he says my face is always like all over the place. I can't help it, I'm animated, sorry. 
um i broke my jaw when i was 11 and i had to get it wired shut yes like on some kanye shit through the wire i had to get my mouth wired shut and it was crazy because i had like two metal brackets and i had like these rubber bands that go across and over time like i think i had to wear them for like three months and i couldn't eat anything i could only like drink juice and stuff and over time the rubber bands would like wear and after like wear they would like tear in the middle of the night so i'd be sleeping and like pop a rubber band would just pop in my mouth and it was like oh it was so uncomfortable i just hated it but yep i broke my jaw um i'm a freelance makeup artist i've been doing makeup for years like and anytime that anybody would be like oh my god can you do my makeup i'd be like of course because i really enjoy doing it i'm really passionate about it um yeah even in prom i did like all of my friends makeup for prom uh except my own because of course i wanted to go to mac i even did somebody's makeup in the bathroom of the restaurant where we had dinner at for prom but yes i love doing makeup and i've been freelancing for about a year now and, and i've been doing really uh, well thank god so i'm hoping to develop my freelance makeup business a little bit more this year um, in high school, I used to sell Avon. I was the Avon girl, so you would see me in first period with my smoky eye, and I'd be like, yes, you can find this eyeliner on page 11. Yes, I was the Avon girl. But the problem was, I was my best customer. I know, crazy, right? Um, when I was little, I wanted to be a model. Yes, I wanted to be a model, and I guess everything happens for a reason, because thank God I've been... I got I've been getting the chance to um, do a little bit of modeling and so yeah let's see where that takes me this year so number 15 I also wanted to be a secretary because I love the way they dress like, I don't know something about that business look I just loved and I remember in elementary school I used to go to school dressed up so I would wear a pencil skirt with pantyhose and little baby heels what fourth grader goes to school dressed like that me so and I remember one time I had to go to the bathroom and as I'm walking to the bathroom I hear all these girls chattering and as I, soon as I walk in just scrambled and then when they come out and they see me they're like oh I thought I thought you were a teacher I'm like no why they're like cuz all we heard was click clack click clack coming down the hallway and that was me in my little baby heels yep fourth grade so um I love to be feminine but I hate being referred to as a girly girl my favorite color is not pink my whole room is not pink as you can see I don't know I just hate being referred to as a girly girl um, I was born in the Bronx that was my hometown I guess I was born there my birthplace I'm number 19 I went to school most mo well most of my schooling was done in Tampa Florida Number 20, I lived in Miami for college. Number 21, I went to two different elementary schools. Then I went to two different middle schools. Then I went to three different high schools and three different colleges. So now do you guys know why I refer to myself as a gypsy? Cause I've been all over the place. Um, I'm extremely outgoing and friendly and I think that that has a lot to do with the fact that I've been kind of everywhere because when it comes down to it you're sitting in the cafeteria and you're like okay am I gonna have lunch by myself or am I gonna talk to the girl next to me and ask her what her name is you know what grade is she in how are you doing you know so when it comes down to that I only had two choices and after a while like it's not fun to have lunch by yourself so I just started opening up my mouth and I really um, you know I'm grateful for that experience because I have no problem walking into a room full of strangers and I can guarantee you that I will walk out with three friends like that's just how I am so I'm very grateful for my experiences because it, it has molded me into the outgoing and friendly person that I am number 26 I won a writing contest in elementary school and I got to be featured on the morning show I don't know we had to write some paper about like peace world peace and I won so I was so hyped because I was on the morning show number 27 I love mangoes they're my favorite fruit I could eat mangoes all day every day I love mangoes number 28 my favorite fast food restaurant is Wendy's and Chick-fil-a number one is Chick-fil-a number two is Wendy's there's no Chick-fil-a in New York unfortunately but whenever I do go visit my mom in Florida 
my first stop is always Chick-fil-A. I'm number 29. I used to actually work in Chick-fil-A in high school and looking back at it now, it was like the best time of my life. I worked there with like most of my friends from school, so we just always had a ball and our discount was 75% off. I used to get my meals for like $1.25. Come on, you know Chick-fil-A meal, they're kind of pricey. So for $1.25, you know I wasn't having. I loved working at Chick-fil-A. And we were off on Sundays because they were closed. Come on, you couldn't have had like a more perfect job in high school, I think. And then I got another job eventually, but I loved working there. Number 30, I love pinup girls. I'm obsessed with them. I think like their sexuality and their demeanor and the way that they expose themselves, but like in a classy, I don't know, I just love pinup girls. I'm obsessed with them. I really think that I was a Mexican pinup girl in my past life. Don't ask me why, I just believe in my soul that I was a Mexican pinup girl. Number 31, I moved to NYC four years ago on Christmas Day. Just recently celebrated my four year anniversary living back in New York City, yay me. Um, um, number 32, I'm going to school for public relations and advertising with a minor in economics and I will be graduating in May, I'm so excited. Uh, number 33, I love to travel. It's one of the most amazing things that you could ever do in your life. So if you can, just like save up your coins and just go see the world. The different cultures and the experiences that you'll create by traveling are just priceless. and. To me, like that's all I want to do. I just want to travel the world. Number 34, I worked retails for five years. I put my time in and I'm so glad it's over. Number 35, my first retail job was actually at Forever 21. I worked there the summer before. I moved away to college in Miami so that I could save up um, money. That was actually my second summer job. Number 36, I used to be a visual merchandiser for The Gap. Number 37. Um, when I went to school in Miami, I was actually majoring in fashion merchandising and retail marketing. And I really enjoyed that major, but unfortunately the school I was at was a private school and although I did have a scholarship, I still had to take out loans, so that's when I decided to move to New York and um, change my major to PR and advertising. Number 38, I love to read. I love to read books, I love to read magazines, I just love to read always loved to read even when I was like little in elementary school I love to read I love to read the back of cereal boxes I love to read the back of the shampoo bottles when I'm taking a shower I just love to read I love it uh, number 39 I'm deathly afraid of rats like and that's probably the biggest thing I hate about living in New York that they're everywhere even when I see them on the subway tracks like I just hate them so much. If you, my biggest nightmare is to be in a room, in a closed, confined space with rats, I think that I would just die. Like even just a thought of it just makes my heart beat really fast and I'm deathly afraid of rats. I hate them. I freaking hate rats. So number 40, I'm very curious. I, I'm always asking questions. Even in class, I'm always that girl raising my hand, asking why, annoying the teacher, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm just very curious and if I don't know the answer to something, you best believe I'm Googling it and I will get every answer. Number 41, I love Google. My favorite phrase is Google it. When, um, number 42, I always try to multitask and do a million things at once. It's a gift and a curse. Number 43, I think I'm superwoman and I try to take on all these tasks and then I always end up with all these things on my plate and and a lot of times I think that I can do a lot of things in a short amount of time and I can't and that results in me like being late and stuff and it's just like, oh, I just really wish I was superwoman and I could do it all but I can't be perfect at everything. 